Hello, photo test here done. Yes, at least the uh, laser elbow daylight uh, laser sight from uh, apparently a scimitar light uh, armored reconnaissance vehicle which looks like this. So it was a lucky uh, eBay find, a very impressive piece of equipment, very heavy, something like uh, 8 kilos, and we can expect to find a lot of interesting stuff inside. So do not mind the missing screws, I did just already remove just a few of them in order to speed up a little bit the process of shooting the video. So we will start by having a look all around and then I guess I will take off one part, look at it in detail, reinstall if it is not in the way of something else and proceed until we see everything. So uh, we have apparently a unit here designed to be attached under something else, probably under the main uh, tank uh, periscope equipment. As you can see, we have uh, three big uh, bolts, screws here, with a main output window here, obviously, and a precision uh, contact surface here. So it is all what we have at the, at the top, except uh, two settings that you will uh, apparently turn with a special tool. So I guess it is an uh, optical adjustment to adjust it in the periscope of the tank. It must move very slowly, something in here we will find out later and obviously you need a special tool to pull it and when you release it remains locked in place. Here we have some kind of moisture absorber device. Okay. Here is, on the right side, one big access panel with uh, high voltage and uh, warning laser stickers. Here is the information for you of the device. Laser elbow, LDE, 3229, serial number here. And uh, the most interesting might be the uh, manufacturing date of 1999. So it is not that all usually battle tank parts I get are, are from the 70s or 80s but this is actually quite modern so it is on what we have on this side so obviously we will find a lot of stuff behind this cover other side is also just a big cover with uh, some uh, kind of pressure release uh, screw here Back side, we have just one little access panel with written uh, high voltage with a number of screws, but you can see there is something weird. Why did they put so many screws on these two sides and not on here and here? While you add perfectly the space to accommodate screws. So if you want it to be completely uh, sealed, you should want at least one more screw here, here and here. Uh, I am not sure why it did not happen here because obviously they were not uh, short on uh, screws, so quite weird. On the bottom we have what might be the actual uh, laser transmitter. It is uh, what seems to be a separate box. I hope it will uh, unplug easily. But anyways, I will need to reinstall it in order to be able to uh, stand the thing on it because it is a nice stand. But we will figure it out. We have two main electrical connectors to the device. And we have here interesting features. The uh, fuse actually are quite special because they are, they, it looks like a regular fuse but not, it is a little plug-in fuse with golden contacts and we have two of them so not sure if one is a spare or if it is two separate circuits 
and last side is here the obviously uh, user interface side so we have the controls main power on off red fire button first and last and uh, adjustments for display and reticle so it seems we have some uh, digital display inside the viewfinder here we have here heater on off maybe to remove any moisture inside the optics or hit this part so this is the main optical part there is uh, actually a scale reticle in here but uh, will not be able I believe to show it to you uh, you can see quite a serious eyepiece with uh, eye adjustment and I have a problem with this part which is not attached anymore very well because of this uh, threaded ring which is in bad condition and impossible to reinstall in fact when this is in place I can put it quite easily when there is uh, nothing in here but since this is installed I have tried for one hour and really uh, no luck here but I will hope maybe finally figure something to attach it correctly ok uh, let me see if it is possible to show you what we have inside here so if I shine a light in this part uh, obviously we have some light coming through here but uh, yes it is not the same focus plane so I see numbers uh, wall scale maybe we will be able to see it better when I take apart this uh, this piece we but there is a reticle in here with uh, scales uh, in two axes and if I shine the light uh, in this direction obviously we see there is a, a wall deal of uh, videos if we do not mind the numbers here the, it is a reflection of my clock uh, ok quite complicated optics obviously but uh, not really easy to show you and I guess it is all for the outside so uh, we will start with uh, by removing this piece which is in the way more or less it is not strictly necessary for the teardown but I prefer having it out of the way uh, I did already loosen most of the screws because really can be sometimes very hard to take apart this kind of stuff but here no problem so far with the screws except the messed one here so this is just to get it out of the way quite a serious uh, part here obviously one left ok so here is what we have as you can see there is a brass one or two brass films here to have the correct uh, thickness of the part. Interesting. Ok, we put this aside. And the next part will be, I guess, to remove this bottom box. Which actually might be the main laser transmitter. In a easy to replace uh, box for uh, maintenance purpose so I know the main laser transmitter might be the most interesting part of the device and I'm starting with it but it is a, a nice stand for the device so it is why I do it first and then I will be able to reinstall it 
for the next part of the video. Okay, so we have one screw left, which is already loose by the way. So will it come off? Quite a big question. Okay, excuse me. Ah. As you can guess, this thing is really heavy and not terribly easy to work on. I am pretty sure. Yes. Look at this. Okay, actually, not much here. Just a five pin connector with centering pins and some kind of uh, laser output. Matching the same parts on this side. Interesting. So obviously this is designed for easy replacement. So what do we have in here? Uh, not much on this side. And here just six screws to undo. And we will be able to find out so just one second. Okay, before I open this box, uh, just uh, information here, it is written, it is a class 3 laser product and it is a neodymium laser. Testing what is a neodymium laser. We have here the uh, model and serial number for this particular module. And cover is just coming off. Quite a serious cover by the way. And here is what we have. We have what seems to be uh, oh nice prism here for the uh, laser reflection, not sure. This might be our main laser unit. Prism here. Yes, I see the output here actually of the laser. Uh, when one, well, one side of the laser here is outputting here. Reflecting in some way in this prism, and actually, we have two windows in this part. So, this is our laser tube, very small thing, a little high voltage converter here, something like this. Oh, I can put it off, but there is nothing written on it, a little black box. So, the laser is on this. Uh, older piece and everything goes in this part I wonder if it should be possible to take it off and have a better look at this part in particular the other ones I believe it will not be really necessary yes you can see the uh, output window of a laser right here Interesting. So, is it possible to undo this thing or not? I guess it might be quite difficult actually. I have the correct tool at least. So let me try this real quick. I know I am probably ruining the alignment, but anyways. It is not going to be used anytime soon, so not a big deal. Yes. Probably we have uh, locating pin somewhere, keeping it in place, but it is coming off, oh, you know what, 
We are blocked by the end of the laser here. Well, it is just real uh, tight fit. Okay, it is just a kind of a prism assembly, as you can see. Between here and here. So, yes, just a glass prism inside. Nothing uh, particular. No germanium, apparently, all uh, optical glass. And uh, here, I am not sure. Ah, this window might be germanium or a very specific filter because I do not see light passing through. And yes, as I said, two locating pins to uh, locate properly the thing. Okay, I will reinstall this and close this box, I guess, and go to the next part because we have seen everything in here, it seems. Little laser assembly. Uh, some kind of uh, high voltage step up transformer and two prism. Okay, the laser transmitter assembly is reinstalled. I did already pop off the screws from this side. They are all uh, on this device stainless steel and uh, Allen screws. So it is just for the hardware, it is already a good thing. Are you ready for the big reveal? Ta da! So first, inside the cover, we have this uh, yellow sticky tape, the same, same one you find in two uh, transformers in power supplies. Insulating tape, rubber seal, of course. And since we have here the main optical path, I see uh, mirrors and prism assemblies. Obviously, what seems to be a very big and impressive one here. Some uh, lenses here and here, and here, uh, half mirror or something like this. So it would be interesting to have a look at it. Here, what seems to be the uh, main high voltage power supply, but it seems quite stuck in this. So. I am not sure I will remove it because anyways the wires here are soldered on it so I would not be able to undo it completely but first we will have a look at the other side so you understand why I undo the screws of camera most of them at least because really it is a lot of work. So apart from the power supply, so far we did not find a lot of electronics. So we can expect to have electronics on this side. Uh, yes, as expected, same thing in the cover, and you can see. Yes, we have, the, we have the electronics here. I will uh, uh, go ahead and remove also the cover on this side. Obviously, we have a uh, wire harness going in here. So I believe this might be the... Uh, actually, this receiver part yes ah, very nice uh, circuit assembly here we will have a look at it later so what to do next I believe I will start with these two assemblies here. So first for you, zoom on the high voltage power supply, which I will not bother uh, removing. It is all potted in gunk, you can see here. 
We fire capacitors. Ah, it is bad. It is bad. As you can see, it is really not in good condition, this one. This uh, inner shielding might be the actually high voltage transformer. I see a toroidal one here and uh, same kind of stuff on the bottom layer here of the PCB. So all put in mostly uh, passive components. So yes, just a high voltage converter. Here I can see some extra electronics, maybe a power supply filtering, a few capacitors and a coil here. But it is not the main interest of this thing. This will be more interesting. And that, so I will remove this assembly here. Try to at least. I am perfectly out of the frame. So we have here. So this thing is a little bit painful to work on because the screws are not magnetic. So when they are very deep like this, and you want to reinstall them, you need you will need to use long nose pliers. It should come off this assembly. Did I remove all the screws? Yes. So each time you have locating pins which are preventing you to do the thing easily. And you have to wiggle, wiggle, wiggle to undo. Like this. Maybe if a screw is not undone completely, it will not help also. It is totally possible. Yeah. You get the idea? Maybe now there is nothing in the way. So let me try. Okay, the last screw is off. I guess it will help. We have to try to pull on it. Almost, almost. And I put my dirty fingers on two some very sensitive optical part it seems wow wow it was not easy so what do we have in here lance here lance here on this kind of uh, mirror so obviously the laser light will come out from here, will travel here through this part, go here, will be uh, outputted at the top, will come back, and when it will come back, it might be reflected on this piece here and go to the output here to the uh, what seems to be the receiver side. Interesting. Uh, next optical piece is here, this uh, quite uh, beefy one. It is not tight. Oops. Just to fly on the other side of the room. So, here, same deal. 
of uh, locating pins. Okay, it was easier this one. And wow, look at that. That is a prism assembly, guys. Look at this. And also, perfect uh, thumbnail for my video. I guess that is impressive. Oops. Fingers on the so delicate surface. That is some, quite something. It is a long time I did not see such an optical piece. Look at that. Try to clean it the best I can. Look at this. Uh, really impressive. Quite something. Okay, and here we see not much, just the optical output here and the path going to the eye piece, but nothing else. So I will reinstall this and we will jump to the other side, the main electronics. So, the main electronics, uh, we have here an uh, anti-surge board, uh, issue 7, which must be some kind of power supply related. We have obviously the main uh, electronics. And this is what we are interested in. Some bad wires, you can see already. Here I will need to disconnect probably the connectors if I want to be able to have a good look at it. Could be useful because, yes, as expected, we have two big wire looms going to it with this airborne connectors, the same ones that in the thermal camera. I took I made the teardown off not long time ago. The Avimo also, same brand. So with these connectors you have to be super careful because they can break if you do not undo them evenly or you can bend the pins. Okay, first one is off. So this is just really a compartment for the electronics obviously. Oops. Me. Quite tedious to undo it really, these things. Super tedious even. Because the screwdriver keeps sliding out of the screw head. Okay, so we have these two things. So about the main board, what do we have? Power transistors here, uh, apparently three of them on a common heat sink. I will zoom in for you. Well, this one is maybe not a transistor, maybe it, uh, it is a, an up amp. And we have the electronics, uh, mainly a microcontroller, as you can see. Big one, nice uh, all uh, ceramic chips, and a lot of bulges. This black box is obviously a crystal oscillator, it is written on it. 
total on caps, unpopulated parts here. And here, an interesting assembly. Well, two even. Uh, you can see we have an IC SN54 series with a diode bulge on it and glued on it. And we have here a golden top IC with a big flat, probably tantalum capacitor, bulge like this to the diode. Interesting. Or oh, it is uh, this board is a bit called a range counter. So yes, it must be uh, some kind of telemeter unit, this device. And we have, oh, what is it? Looks like there is a slider under this, uh, probably to, re to secure the microcontroller in place. I will not pull it off, but there is actually a piece you can slide release pressure on the legs or something like this first time I see this actually another little oscillator here and here I am interested to see what we have at the other side of this assembly anti-surge board and for some reason this thing is attached with four super big screws totally overkilled <coughs> Mm. And this one really tight. Mm. So what do we have in here? Ah, nothing. We can see there is a circuit board here in the control panel assembly, which is actually the next part we are undoing. But this has nothing in particular. Seems to be an add-on, this actually, more or less. Quite interesting. Why did they need to put so many screws? I do not know. On this, this size of, sc of screws. For sure, this board is not going anywhere. Okay, I believe I will reinstall the uh, main board because there is not uh, much to. Oh. It will be easier to access maybe for uh, this part, so we will not reinstall it immediately. Next part is the control panel. So here, also I didn't do most of the screws. Control panel. So I do not expect a lot in this control panel, just connections to the buttons, but we will see. Okay, here we can see, uh, yes, the little board uh, power uh, 
supply filtering board that was on the side on the main uh, air water supply. And yes, above the two little fuse, you can see uh, this one is actually a spare because it is not connected. And this one is the one in use. Okay, so what do we have in here? We have circuit board with this model number. You can see very serious construction, quite uh, worn out, this thing. But here you have screws all around. And if I undo the four tiny screws, first time ever, as you can see, because I am breaking the red. Seal over them. Here is what we have quite a nice uh, wire loom actually going to the various. Switches on potentiometers. Interestingly enough, uh, we have a handwritten serial number here. And the two uh, potentiometers here seem quite uh, similar from the outside, but they are completely different inside. This one is super tiny, while this one is a bigger model. Very high quality parts of course and a little clip here to accommodate this uh, transistor and the wall piece will act as an heat sink okay I will reassemble this and we will uh, then remove I believe the eye piece so about the eye piece I have oops uh, First course to undo real quick if I find the matching tool mm. this one mm. I guess I will do it with a power screwdriver it will be easier there is tools everywhere Given there is a display potentiometer, I can expect some electronics attached to this eyepiece. Uh, surely enough, and surely enough, uh, there is no connector at this point, uh, which is quite annoying. And it is tied to the main wire harness, so I cannot undo it completely. And anyways, it is not a big deal because it looks like this is completely uh, stuck together. I do not see screws allowing me to undo this part. So. Apparently, we have a number of wires here going to something. So we must have some kind of readout or display in this thing. But it will not be easy to access little bracket here for the wires for some reason. Uh, do you believe it is a connector we have in here? Not sure at all. Weird setup for sure. Ah, yes, okay. Okay, perfect. Not, 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 not perfect because, ah, look at this. 
two wires are not on the connector and I did just break loose one solder joint uh, this one here it is quite a poor uh, job already you can see on this thing here naturally so this will uh, need a repair but in here we have one super tiny it looks like we have uh, maybe photo diodes or photo or leds in here yes two of them is it possible for me to reach one and do one at least so I do not want to take apart completely this eyepiece because uh, it looks like it is uh, secured by uh, pins or set screws which are uh, almost impossible to reach and it is completely ah, blocked this thing like if there was uh, sand inside so quite a poor condition eyepiece and I do not see the reticle I was speaking about previously with the information on it ah yes here actually ah it is super tiny will you see it if I zoom believe me here there are numbers written you can you see just here in the middle in fact, it is magnified a lot when you uh, look from the eyepiece. Quite interesting. So, here we have just one little infrared diode. So, not sure if there is a high presence detection or something like this. That will trigger the display when you, the operator puts his eye on the eyepiece quite well but as I am not uh, able to undo the main eyepiece I am not able to see what exactly is going on in here quite sad okay so here I will need to repair this wire for sure yes there is a bunch of wires going here so maybe some kind of uh, LED display in here, but uh, I need to unzoom by the way. But uh, not really easy to tell. I am checking if I will be able to resolder or not. No. So I will reinstall the connector later because I need to uh, redo the solder here. But uh, first I will just temporarily really reinstall this part in order to have it excuse me out of the way for the next part of the video which will be actually the um, I believe I will do the uh, top part right now so about the top unit it is the main output of the device and actually it is where are connected these two uh, settings or adjustments. It will work better if I use the correct tool. So here also I have locating pins. I should be one here. So I can expect some problems to pull out this unit we will see just here the number of screws is quite insane ok so I will unzoom and I will try to wiggle it out of the way See, you get the idea. Ah. Little bit of pry bar action. Okay. So here, just a glass piece mounted on this uh, plate. And here, I 
we have what seems to be the main optical output. So about the adjustments, what do they do? I cannot really see anything happening. So I will try to undo this piece. I hope it is not a big error. Long screws like this. And as expected, it will not come off. I see. Actually, I need to be able to remove this part. I need to slide it in this direction because it catch here under the metal. But for this, I will need to undo these things, which I really do not want to mess with because a big spring loaded part means uh, might be impossible to reinstall without special equipment so i will not uh, disturb it sorry anyways i believe it is just uh, adjustable lance holder which will move in uh, both the x and y z directions x and y well the ones you want but like this and like this to adjust the exact output to of the device so I will not uh, deal with it. It seems to be uh, super complicated to reinstall this part here. I did mess up this thing enough already. So I will uh, reinstall the top cover here because I do not need it off anymore. And as you can see, it is just a matter of a few screws. And then we will go to the last uh, thing, which is actually the business and the receiver. Okay, last part of the video will be about this receiver assembly. So I can see very interesting stuff in here. I will try to. Uh, where is my tool? I'll do it for you. So we have uh, apparently, while I undo the screws, you can see there is this thing which seems to be a big hybrid assembly. And we have three golden legs here poking out from the PCB. Quite interesting, so we must have some kind of uh, receiver component. We hope I am not doing a terrible mistake by undoing this. is sliding off. Whoops. Excuse me. I grab immediately the screws before I lose too many of them. Ah, should be good enough. Then what do we have? Yes, we have this uh, super tiny piece which will be totally impossible to reconnect into the holes because as you can see it should require aligning the legs with the three little holes here so i hope it is possible to pull it off 
If not, I am in a big trouble now. Except if I not, because I cannot undo this scrolls and then reinstall my uh, circuit board, obviously, it will not work. It seems to be a rubber part here. Actually, yes, it is moving. Little bit at a time. Ah, quite a bad design here, really. Yes, it is moving, so I must not touch the pins because I not, do not want to bend them. Really a nice thing. Okay. Quite uh, scary, but it is off, and we have what seems to be just uh, maybe it is a germanium lens here, probably a photo diode or photo transistor of some description. And now I will be able to reinstall it in the circuit board, and then I guess it will align with the mounting hole when I reinstall the circuit board. I will undo this board in order to have a better look at it. Really, these uh, connectors are good for uh, reliability, but uh, they are really super tedious to undo. Okay, we are good. So, on this little board, how is it called? We have no name on this one. But we have so the three little golden contacts through which the diode is installed. And we have LM193 op amps and 158 here. Some uh, hybrid resistor network here, more refer capacitors, this one seems not in too bad condition, uh, completely put it together here, the capacitors, and we have a main piece of interest, which is, it is actually socketed, but I will not undo it, because there is nothing to see at the bottom, this will win probably hybrid module. Take out of 98 here. And you can see a really, really a specific part probably for high speed reception and calculation of laser, reflected laser beam. Quite impressive. Oops. In here, nothing else, just the wire looms going to the uh, connectors, actually, I did not bother undoing the connector plate. I see, I see, there is a little bit of circuit board still in here, for, uh, with a diode or something like this, for the uh, power supply input, probably. So, actually, it might be possible to figure out the power supply looks like it is just uh, two connectors for the power supply. So maybe I could do something and try to power it on black and red wire. I believe it must be not very complicated. Either uh, 12 or 24 volts, something like this. So it might be an opportunity to play with it and see what happens. Of course, uh, laser equipment, so with some uh, precautions, just probably putting a big cap on the laser output. But it will be interesting to try out, obviously. Okay, so I guess it will be time for me to uh, reassemble everything. 
I hope you did uh, enjoy this uh, teardown of uh, the laser elbow. Where is it written? Oh, yeah. Oops. Ah. Laser elbow. Okay. So, a lot of work I did for the reassembly and uh, editing the video also. So, do not forget to click like. Subscribe, share, and watch my other videos, of course. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.